Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.55 from Sadiku book and it is marked as one of the hard problem. And the question is solve for I1, I2, and I3 and let's see whether this is really a hard problem or not. So, I'm going to use mesh analysis or loop analysis. So, let's draw the loops. This is loop 1 and this is loop 2, this is loop number 3 and this is loop number 4. So all the loops are clockwise, it is good to make all the loops uh, on one direction. So here we have that for loops all clockwise direction. And here we have this current source, so we are going to use a super loop here. Okay, here the super loop is bet between these loops, so super loop. And let's start. Uh, let's start analysis at not one. I mean loop 1. Okay, we are using KVL. Loop 1, we are using KVL which states that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to 0. Now here we have this current source and it is the only current that pass through this section of the circuit. So, we can conclude that I1 is the same as this current source, so it is 4 ampere, and we already done for the loop 1. Now, let's move on to loop number 2. Again, we are using KVL which stated that the sum of voltage will equal to zero. And we start from this voltage source. And here the current is flowing from negative to positive. So the sign will be negative. And the value will be eight plus. Now we move on to this 12 ohm resistor. Now here we have I1 and I2, but the focus of it is I2, so first I multiply it by I2, and here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, so minus I1, and then we move on to that 4 ohm resistor, again, because our focus is I2, we multiply it by I2, but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction, we don't care about the super loop yet, only the essential loop first. So I subtract I3 from it. And we, we have done for loop number 2. So 0. I can move this minus 8 to the right hand side. And now 12 plus 4 is 16 I2. And for I1, I only have minus 12 I1 plus and then for i3 i only have minus 4 i3 so we will have that equal to 8 and i think we can divide both sides by 4 so i will have minus 3 i1 plus 4 i2 minus i3 and that will equal to 2 Let's save this as equation number one. And we move on to loop number three and loop number four or the super loop. Loop three and four or super loop. And we are again using KVL and we start from 
this voltage source here the sign will be positive because it's flowing from negative to positive so positive and the value is 10 volt and now we move on to this resistor plus 2 2 ohm and now the multiplier is the loop inside not the super loop so we have this i3 here but the only current that passed through this is i3 so we have done this part and we move on to this 4 ohm resistance plus 4 again we take a look only at the small loop so i will have i3 but here i2 is flowing to the opposite direction here and then we move on to this 6 ohm plus 6 but now our focus is to this small loops which is i4 and here i1 is flowing to the opposite direction so the current of i1 is 4 ampere so i subtract 4 from this and that will equal to 0 and then what can we do here 10 plus for i3 i will have 6 i3 and for i2 i only have minus 4 i2 and for i4 i only have this one 6 i4 and here i will have minus 20 4 and that will equal to 0 and 10 minus 24 is minus 14 minus 14 to the right hand side we will have 14 and we can order this as 4 i2 plus 6 i3 plus 6 i4 which is equal to 14 and now we will have here we can divide both sides by 2 so i will have minus 2 i2 plus 3 i3 plus 3 i4 and that will equal to 7 let's have this as equation number 2 now what can we do here now we have four equation four variables i mean but only have two equations we need two more so let's see what can we do here okay now let's take a look at equation number one we can still simplify this by substituting i1 because i1 is four ampere so let's change this equation one to more simplified one so let's do it here so minus 3 multiplied by i1 i1 is 4 plus 4 i2 minus i3 that will equal to 2 and this become minus 12 plus 4 i2 minus i3 and that will equal to 2 so i will have 4 i2 minus i3 that will equal to 14 now we have this as equation number one so now we have three variables and three equation two equations i mean three variables and yeah two equations so we need one more equations so let's see what can we do but i need to clean the whiteboard first and i will save this one and this one okay we have clean whiteboard now and i will take a look at this current source so the one ampere current source here the current that goes to the same direction as this current source is i4 so i4 sign will be positive i will use black here 
oops sorry and so i4 will be positive and i3 is going to the opposite direction so minus i3 and the resultant will be this current source value so it is equal to 1 or we can reorder this as i3 plus i4 is equal to 1 and let's have this as equation number 3 let me move it here and we will start fresh Okay, let's solve this system of equations for i1, i2, i3, and i4. i1 is already known, so we need, we only need to have i2, i3, and i4. So first, I want to eliminate this i4 here by using equation number 2 and equation number 3 multiplied by 3. So I will have this as minus 2i2 plus 3i3 plus 3i4 and that will equal to 7 and equation number 3 multiplied by 3 so I will have minus 3i3 and plus 3i4 and that will equal to 3. Now we can subtract this to eliminate i4. So I will have minus 2i2 and here it's become 3 minus minus 3 it's 6i3 and we will have this as 4 and now what can we do here I want to eliminate this i3 so I will use equation number 1 multiplied by 6. So I will have 24 I2 minus 6 I3 and that will equal to 14 multiplied by 6. What is 14 multiplied by 6? Okay, let me 84. So we can sum this to get this 88, this will cancel each other and this will be 22i2 and here we will get i2 is equal to 88 divided by 22 so it is 4 ampere. Now we will have i2 and we already have i1 here. So we can get I3 here for I2 for, multi, for I2 minus I3 is equal to 14 from equation 1. So we can substitute this for 2I2 and we will have these equations and let's solve it for I3. So we will have I3 is equal to 2 ampere. And now we can get I4 by using equation number 3. So I will have minus I3 plus I4 is equal to 1. I3 is minus 2 plus I4 is equal to 1. So I4 will be 3 ampere. So now we will have I1, I2, and I3, but the question is capital I1, capital I2, and capital I3. Let's solve for it. And first, let's clean the whiteboard. So now we are going to solve for I, capital I1, capital I2, and capital I3. And let's start. Capital I1 is equal to this the current in this loop is the same direction as i1 so i4 will be positive one and here i1 is going to the opposite direction so minus i1 and now we can substitute this value i4 is 3 and i1 is 
4 so I will have minus 4 or I1 is minus 1 ampere capital I1 is minus 1 ampere and I2 okay I2 this red one is the same direction as this I1 so I1 will have positive sign and I2 is going to the opposite direction so minus I2 so I will have I2 is equal to I1 it's 4 minus I2 it's 4 ampere and so we will have I2 is equal to 0 ampere here and the last one capital I3 that will equal to I2 the current the same direction minus I3 so I will have I3 is equal to I2 I2 is 4 minus I3 which is 2 so we will have I3 is equal to 2 ampere so we have our final answer hopefully I did not make any mistakes and thank you for watching